Hey friends, welcome back. Today for our doggy disguises, we are going to draw the quintessential dachshund dressed as a hot dog. We have to do that in this challenge. This one is fun, quick, and easy, and anyone can do it. So grab your art supplies and let's go ahead and get started. <music> Let's go ahead and draw our dog that is dressed like a hot dog. This one is pretty predictable. We're going to go ahead and draw a dachshund dressed as a hot dog because that is just what you do when you own a dachshund. You dress them up like a hot dog. So I have a great long space down here. My dog is short, so it's going to fit perfectly. But remember, friends, if you ever feel like you're, you're crowding your drawings on one paper, you can absolutely do your do a one drawing per paper. I would love it if you would do that. You have all this space, or you can keep it small like me, because really the only thing that matters is that you're having fun. Don't worry about if you're drawing in pencil or marker, um, or if you have to start over or pause the video at any point. Just, I want, I'm just so glad that you're here and I just want you to have fun. So let's go ahead and draw our dachshund hot dog. We're gonna start scooched way over on the left-hand side here. I'm gonna start with the top of the head that is a very long, simplified curve. I'm gonna drop down a little bit under this line and I'm gonna do a curve on one side and a curve on the other side. And then I'm going to go down and connect. Okay. Now let's do the nose down here. So again, I'm doing that curve line and I can make a U or I could bring it together like a V. I'm going to just shade a little bit at the top, leave a section and then color in the bottom. And now it looks like we have a nose that is coming out at us. I'm going to draw two little eyes right here. And then we're gonna make some nice kind of, um, I think dachshunds have just really smooth, long ears. But you could do a long-haired dachshund and make them zigzag and bumpy, and that would also be wonderful. So let's go ahead and just start with the actual hot dog and then we'll come down to the legs and whatnot. So right about mid ear, maybe a little bit lower than mid ear, I'm gonna do a long horizontal line. This is going to be the bun of the hot dog. I'm gonna curve and go down. And then I'm gonna also go kind of right where the chin is, maybe scooched over a little bit. And I'm gonna do another curve line going in and then I'm gonna connect the lines together. If you're ever feeling a little bit uh, that like connecting lines like that are tricky, you can always use your finger and kind of visualize it first. I call it air drawing and then just go for it with your material or you can always erase it or start over whatever you're comfortable with. Now let's do the hot dog. So I'm gonna scooch my marker up a little. I'm gonna go over and I like to kind of curve it slightly down and then come back up and make it the line a little bit shorter than the bun. Then let's do the other side. So a little bit, not too high, but a little, just a little bit higher than the hot dog. I'm going to go curve and I'm actually going to go ahead and I hit the hot dog. No big deal. I'm going to actually continue it and then curve it down. So that's going to make it kind of look like the bun is on either side and like the hot dog is a little bit shorter than the bun on the other side. I'm gonna do a little curve line. This can be some mustard. If you have yellow or red, you can make mustard or ketchup there. And then let's go ahead and finish our dog. So we're gonna do a little curve for the chest. And dachshunds have really short little leggies. So I'm gonna go draw a short line here. And I guess the belly, you might be able to see it. You might not. I'm gonna pretend like I can't see the belly. It's up hidden in the costume. So I did another line here and then I'm gonna curve out and around and just draw kind of like one little toe. I'm gonna go on to the back. The back leg is always a little bit thicker at the top. I draw two lines that kind of go in and then again, I want my, the line, the leg should be lined up on this front side. Now the back legs can be a little bit higher and you can decide, do I want them to go like they're walking or standing in the same place? I'm gonna, what am I gonna do here? This is the one leg. I think I'm gonna put the other leg kind of back here and I'm gonna make it a little bit higher. You really can't even see the toes. 
And then this leg, I might just kind of scooch it up. And there's definitely going to be some overlapping. And then, of course, I have to add a little tail. And I'm going to make this doggy, even though there's not really a smile, I didn't do a mouth. Um, dachshunds have a real skinny little tail. You know what I'm going to do? One of my favorite ways to draw a dog wagging its tail is actually drawing the same tail I just did but slightly overlapping it and drawing a few of them and if I'm doing it in pencil I always do it a little bit lighter and what this is doing do you see how it looks like it's moving back and forth sometimes I'll really draw over a few times the original tail just so I know that that's the uh and then I'll just draw a few extras and you could draw a few lines like this and now it looks like the tail is wagging I'll draw some little eyebrows and maybe even do a little curve so even though it looks like we can't see a tongue we get the illusion that this doggy is smiling with her eyes smize isn't that what they call it? that's a word blend for smiling eyes oh my too cute I feel like I have to do two of them one with ketchup and one with mustard but for now this doggy is absolutely perfect so I hope you've enjoyed our drawing today come back tomorrow for another doggy in a cute little disguise for Halloween. I'll see you then.